Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands as a topic of your week, Virgo, that is going to be the Four of Wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the High Priestess, followed by the uh, positive aspect of the week which stands for the, um, for the Hangman here, and the last one is going to be about the guidance that Saro is offering, we do have the Queen of Wands. Alright, pretty... Pretty interesting one, uh, to be honest. It's kind of like it's um, it's move just on. It is moving just on the edge here. Uh, so the first card, which is the topic, is going to be catalyzed for you by the Tower card. So all in all, we do have an, an active supporters here, and it's um, how do I describe it? It's a week where uh, you pretty much are going to adopt or rather like you are going to obtain a, um, a thing that was not meant for you. It's, it's something like this happening here. Uh, not exactly not meant for you. I, I haven't expressed myself. It could be not meant for you, but as well, this is how it plays out. So <clears throat> you obtain something it could be you know obtaining relationship it could be obtaining a position it could be you know obtaining a new home for example that makes all the difference that completely transforms your life into a into a life that now you have the the option to start building up once again no different than if you want to escape escape from a particular apartment and you do it this week because this week is going to be a week where you finalize a very important chapter or rather like a, a very important cycle in your life career wise or relationship wise and finalizing it on a positive note meaning that from from here you jump on the next level and the next level when you jump on into the next level that gives you the opportunity to fix things from the previous level or from yeah from the previous level that usually such a benefit it is not given to you and uh, that could happen with obtaining a, a thing that was not meant for you to obtain but for one or another reason you were able to um you know you are able to secure on it that being said uh, nonetheless you're gonna be very pleased with whatever um, 
development it is happening because this is going to be a finalizing a cycle of development for you you're going to be very very happy about it and i think that you're going to feel like celebrating at the end of the week maybe friday friday maybe saturday and etc etc but the whole point is that you are your mind is going to be doubled with plans for the future because you can really kind of sense the uh, how can I say it you know the the, 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 the the potency here of the transformation can happen I can't even express it guys that you can really get back on your feet especially if you are feeling down in the dumps all right and rebuilt up your probably your entire life out of it so it's a pretty pretty major event that it is coming here which will allow you to simply you know kind of become a king once again or become a queen once again whatever it is just gifting you back your life if you feel like you have lost it so the um <clears throat> The other card is going to be the challenges and that will be the high priestess here with the world and now that makes a particular sense in this follow-up. Now these two cards are pointing to a closure uh, and as we say th this is the thin line this is the edge that I was talking about so these cards are talking by a closure the other are talking by a finalizing a, a cycle of growth and the finalizing a cycle of growth it isn't a closure it means that you move to the next cycle of life while closure by those couple of cards means that you completely abandon this narrative or this direction and you move into the other one all right so that is the challenge not to kind of like give up it is it is as simple as that not to give yourself a rest not to allow anybody to tell you you don't deserve that or you will not be able to do reconciliation or you will be poor to the rest of your life or you are not worthy for that job or for that promotion and so on and so forth just deny or kind yeah make yourself in a denial of that you can't make a progress in a specific direction because once again <clears throat> the transformation is going to hit you out of nowhere and it is probably is going to come exactly in the time of need that will allow you to proceed instead of abandon you know your uh, your endeavor your goal here it is what we are talking about so that being said, the challenge itself is not to give up, like uh, like explain it, uh, like explains. And one more thing about the challenge, it is that you shouldn't spend more much time of figuring out, you know, how to secure on this next level, on this new chapter into your growth. But as soon as you do have a rough idea, you know, in your head. <clears throat> for how to proceed with your relationship or how to proceed with your uh, career you know you should start doing things uh, in this direction uh, if for no other reason to show that you do care about it you do want to to develop it in a certain uh, way so the other card here it regards to the uh, positive aspect and we do have the hangman uh, accompanied with uh, the six of cups and we do have a, a passive uh, supporters into this uh, position and it's a very cheerful uh, combo in that particular state it does point that uh, simply your time you are to be rewarded for the time spent i mean things are, that are to happen around you are going to be quite um, <clears throat> exhilarating right so you are going to have that physical attraction toward them and as well emotional happiness and additionally to that um these two cards are gifting you with a, a different vision as as your life transforms through this uh, completion of a cycle of development your vision evolves as well and that vision will give you will open your horizon i would say for much more other directions that you can go from now on or directions that you can proceed with your development regarding career or regarding relationship if you will it doesn't really matter it does, it does depend what you uh, what you are striving for but the hangman also points uh, in a positive way that many things that you worry about all right many things that you are stressing for um, and especially things that haven't been manifested yet what i mean 
is that you know you do have your goal and you are daydreaming of what kind of obstacles you may have along the way uh, <clears throat> the hangman points that um, many of those obstacles while they may they may be present they are to be things that are to resolve themselves on their own accord so you don't have to push to put too much stress worry and thinking over them um, in time and the last card it is in regards to the guidance the tarot is offering we do have the queen of wands here accompanied with the four of swords so we do have an, an any uh, active uh, support uh, active friends excuse me into this position and uh, it's very seldom when the cards are pointing to a, a person as a guidance but what these two cards here are pointing it is that uh, there are there is a a person that can serve as a, a well of wisdom all right a well a yeah, unlimited source not just only of a wisdom but as well of a um how do you say it when when someone divulges you how you can succeed that isn't wisdom it's more like a, a recipe for wealth recipe for happiness you know a person who can tell you that all right and uh <clears throat> the good thing is that this person is more than happy to uh lead their conversations with you to help you with whatever you're struggling right now or what with whatever you are to struggle further into the future now talking with this person here the queen of wands is going to ease your mind is going to make you so comforting and so confident as well into your uh further strafe that it doesn't look like that you are going to have any prerequisites whatsoever to abandon your goal originally and uh, that is for a reason being that the person itself that it is marked with the queen of wands it's very confident on its own accord and as well very well knows the uh the human nature from a standpoint of that it knows the pros and cons in everybody they see and they tackle with they see your pros and cons and they're quite confident i mean this person is quite confident that you can make it and as she or he is confident that you can make it then you can make it all right and um especially is going to be beneficial talking with this uh, person regarding business endeavors this while uh the queen of wands it's very good uh in relationships uh in relationship lifestyle it is exceptionally good uh in uh in business and career endeavors so that being said virgo this was your weekly tarot reading november 18th to november 24 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye